Ah, good afternoon, your highness. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is George Appaloosa, and what's so funny? Ah, yes, my surname. Appaloosa is a lovely horse breed, and I suppose it does make a comical surname, but I ask that you do not interrupt me. <clears throat> now, as I was saying, I will be teaching you proper etiquette. Frankly, from our interaction so far, I can see that we have much work ahead of us. Uh, you have quite the wit, Your Highness. That's an excellent conversational skill, but you need to learn when it is appropriate. <sighs> now is not the appropriate time, and I would be rather grateful if you were to allow me to speak so I can explain what is happening. <sighs> Thank you. Today's lesson shall be on dining, a relatively simple area which will ease you gently into your learning. Please, take a seat, Your Highness. The table is set. And we shall start with the soup. Sit up straight. The way you carry yourself is one of the most important parts of etiquette. Dining is not only about how you eat, but how you look. How you create conversation without making people feel uncomfortable as they struggle to balance eating and conversation. How you yourself juggle eating and conversation. So, sit up straight and take your spoon. No, 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 my goodness. Has nobody even taught you what spoon to use? Oh, I knew that you were behind, but honestly, this is ridiculous. Outside first. Always work from the outside in when using cutlery. No, I'm not upset with you. I'm upset that you have not even had the basics covered. A young woman your age should have little need for etiquette classes, but to not even know a simple thing like that is shocking. <laughs> ah, there's that razor-sharp wit again. An appropriate time as well. De-escalate the situation with light humor. Very good, Your Highness. Very good indeed. My apologies for losing my composure. It seems I'm having a rather emotional day. <clears throat> now, go ahead and eat. Not the worst I've seen. Don't stoop down like that. You're not a dog. I am well aware that it's the easiest way to eat soup. Bring the spoon to you. You might as well abandon the spoon completely. If you just get some, lift it slightly from the rest, and bend down to it. Steady hand. Bring the spoon up to the level of your face. and Move your head forwards, not down. Much better. Now, what do you do if your glass is about to be refilled, but you don't want more to drink. No, imagine you were talking. You can't just stop halfway through a sentence to speak to somebody else, and you definitely can't interrupt somebody for it. You simply hover your hand over your glass, which signals that you do not require to be filled. <sighs> I can see we're going to have to take this step by step. I can deal with complete beginners, but at least they have the common sense to know not to talk back. I am not being harsh. Look at yourself. Your posture. Your sour expression. I can read your face perfectly. I can see exactly what you are thinking, and I must say, it's extremely rude. Not to mention the manner of which you speak to me. In this room, I am your superior. I know that you are aware of that, as you would have left already and objected to me silencing you if you were not aware. Excuse me if I don't believe that you were just being polite, as you say. After all, you haven't been bothered with politeness in any other interaction we've had. Sit back down, princess. You will not be leaving until this lesson is complete. Well, I can't stop you from leaving. But I will have to report this to your father. He seemed to be mentioning that you're enjoying your dueling lessons, but... If you cannot conduct yourself in a proper manner, then I suppose we'll just have to replace those lessons for... Uh, lessons with me. You seem to have become too competent with those... unruly subjects. And it does not bode well for your future. If you were to simply sit back down and carry on with this lesson, then I won't have to request that your dueling lessons be stopped, though. Thank you, Your Highness. 
You shan't be having a repeat of that in the future, I trust. Excellent choice, Your Highness. 